So I've received many messages from people asking for tips and advice to break into data science. Even though I've done several videos explaining the exact roadmaps I would follow, I think sometimes it's really useful just to hear the brutal truth, which is what I plan to share with you in this video. I often get asked, is platform A better than platform B? Or is course X better than course Y? And I always say the same thing, it doesn't matter. Any large course provider or popular course will teach you the exact same things, particularly at the entry level. And the time you spend thinking which course should I choose is much better spent actually doing the work because that's what's going to get you ahead. In a similar fashion, people always ask me what kind of projects they should do. And again, it doesn't matter. Just choose a project you like the look of and start. You can always change the project or even stop it halfway through if you're not enjoying it and rather do something else. The point is you should always just start and get going first and then you can change direction later on. As the famous saying goes, you can't steer a stationary ship. A few years ago, you could take some online data science certification and probably land a job within a few months. However, that's just not the reality anymore. Online certifications are really useful for teaching you the data science and machine learning content, which is invaluable. However, they will very unlikely get you hired nowadays, particularly with the tough job market that we're in. You must do a lot of extra work, like marketing yourself, doing projects, and creating an online portfolio just to get that edge over other applicants. You have to work harder now, and that's just the brutal truth. I know saying work harder is not really helpful, and I'm not promoting a grind mentality, but you kind of have to put in more effort than you used to in order to get that first data science role. This is because the supply of data scientists has been increasing exponentially, whereas the demand just hasn't been keeping up. And so because more people want to be data scientists, you have to do more work and more things to really separate yourself from the crowd. This means that if you have a full-time job, you're going to have to study in your evenings after work or on weekends. If you're a university student, you're going to have to do data science courses alongside your university work. Sacrifices will need to be made, and you'll probably need to do this for several months before you can even apply for your first job maybe even a year in some cases. I understand that this may not be feasible for everyone and I completely get it. However, if data science is a career that you're really passionate about, sacrificing a few months or a year, in my opinion, is totally worth it for decades for a profession that you really love. Even though you may have to study outside of your hours, try to use data as much as possible in your current role. Not only will this benefit your learning, it will also give you an indication if data or data science is a career that you really want to be doing. You can start simple using tools like Excel and incorporating them more in your day-to-day -day tasks. You could even explore using VBA with Excel, adding that extra layer of proficiency in your skill set. If possible, try to add in some Python and SQL if you can, because if you're doing that, you're pretty much already doing a data science or data analytic position already and so that'll make it much easier for you to transition in the space later on. You may even find that you generate so much value using this data that your current company keeps you on as a data scientist, which is the ideal case. The media and non-experts have done a great job of hyping AI, which has led to some scaremongering. Don't get me wrong, the technology is amazing and I even use it on a daily basis to improve my productivity. However, I get messages from people saying that they're worried about becoming data scientists because they think the job will be redundant in a few years due to AI. And let me tell you right now that this definitely won't be the case. Of course, this is my opinion, but I just don't see how this is going to happen within the next decade or so. Sure, AI can write code and do a multitude of other things, but it's definitely not the capacity yet where it can fully replace a data scientist. Just ask an AI or ChatGPT to prove Fermat's loss theorem. It just can't do it. It hasn't got that mathematical reasoning ability that most humans do. Even the so-called software engineer killer, Devon, was not as good as it was originally marketed. A lot of these companies kind of over-exaggerate the use of their tools or the kind of ability of their tools just to get funding. And it's just part of the game. This is not to say that some of these tools are amazing. 
but often they're kind of over exaggerated in exactly the value that they can deliver. When I was building my website, ChatGPT even struggled with things like HTML and CSS, which is arguably its bread and butter. So they are far from perfect and they're far from replacing full-time programmers, particularly data scientists. Like anything, the real work starts when you get in that first role. Getting a data science job is difficult, but once you are in, you can expect a career of mental hurdles and battles along the whole journey. The career on the outside may seem like sunshine and rainbows, but it really isn't like that all the time. You can expect lifelong learning, feelings of burnout, continual imposter syndrome, ambiguous job definitions, and also just a constantly changing field. All of this makes data science quite a mentally tough profession to be in because you never feel like you're doing enough or know enough, but that is just normal. And these feelings will kind of get easier or you learn to deal with them more as you progress in your career. But if these things are something that you don't want to feel like or experience, then data science is probably not the career for you. All of these things I just mentioned are not meant to discourage you from wanting to become a data scientist. It's just to be completely transparent about what you can expect. If you want more data science advice like this, then check out my weekly newsletter, Dishing the Data. I send it every Monday morning and it's all about my thoughts and experiences as a practicing data scientist. If that sounds interesting, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out.